I'm Rohini Chaturvedi from the World Resources Institute India. I lead the landscape restoration program here. We're a young program trying to understand how uh, degraded land, degraded forests and other types of lands can be regenerated um, through tree-based interventions that could range from plantations to agroforestry, climate smart agriculture, soil and moisture conservation measures. And we're doing this primarily to enhance local livelihoods as well as generate a range of ecosystem service benefits around climate and biodiversity. India has made um, numerous commitments internationally as well as domestically to address environmental challenges, um, the most prominent being a commitment to the bond challenge to restore 21 million hectares by 2030 and also as part of the Paris uh, talks, a commitment to sequester 2.5 to 3 billion tons of CO2 equivalent by 2030. And we think that these are, the landscape restoration is one of the ways in which we can achieve these goals. Um, this is a fantastic forum actually to bring different organizations working on land together. Uh, we've been talking about the need to have a platform of this sort for a while now. Um, it's interesting that we tend to meet many of our colleagues at different conferences. So we decided let's get together and think about the issues that are most pressing for all of us and see if we can come up with what our colleagues in NRMC call the three C's, collaboration, co-creation and conversation. So we're hoping that this is going to be one of the, the first of many um, conferences to happen. Uh, primarily for us, uh, the issues are threefold. I mean, Firstly, we understand that land is going to be very critical if restoration must meet both developmental and environmental outcomes. Unless we have secure tenure and rights, um, environmental interventions don't succeed and development, developmental benefits don't reach the communities who must benefit for restoration to be scaled up. Um, we know that we need a movement in India that involves multiple different stakeholders including governments, private sector, as well as communities and civil society. We know that such a movement is absolutely essential if we are to realize the almost 100 million hectares of restoration opportunity in India. And we also know that in order to be able to do this, we need to bring together people's rights, um, clarity over law and policy, as well as um, you know, public sector, private sector confidence in investments in restoration. Um, there are several really key issues that are being discussed at this conference, ranging from you know, where we go where, uh, in terms of existing movements around resource rights and land rights, thinking about um, IT and innovation and web-based technologies and how these can help in scaling up solutions, and also thinking about you know, just dialogue amongst people who are working together, and that's really, really valuable.